This is a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump that's currently running away here. And I'm supposing that you're in a situation where you are about to buy one of these, or you want to buy one of these, something like that. Uh, but there could be a question, a technical challenge, something that you don't know if the pump comes with or not, and you just want some clarity so that you can make an informed purchase decision. And that's what this video is. I'm just gonna try to cover a couple of the basics about this pump so you have a good idea what you can anticipate. So first of all, let's just take a look here. This pump does run at 120 volts or 240 volts. You just supply it with that voltage, it knows what to do with it. So that's the first thing to know because most of the pool pumps on the market in this class of pump in particular are 240 volts only. They do not have a 120 volt option. So that could definitely be a question that you might have because you might have one or the other or you're looking for one in particular and you're just not sure from the documentation. Now you know. Okay, so another thing that we could look at here, the inlet and the outlet. So I've got two different examples plumbed in here. So let's look at the, the discharge here first. So this here comes with the pump. It actually comes with two of these. I could have one on the front here if I wanted. And that this, uh, this isn't a coupling I've added. That's part of this union connection. So all you do as the pool owner is you plumb into that, which is hard plumb connection. Uh, on the front here, because I sometimes change out this manifold to a two inch manifold, in this particular instance, I don't have the union connection like they provided. So what I did is I just utilized an inch and a half male adapter with some Teflon tape and sent it on in there and that works. These threads on the outside here, that is not a standard thread like you'd use for a two inch uh, female adapter, PVC female adapter would not thread onto that. So that could be another question that you have. Uh, that thread in particular is made for these Pentair unions that it comes with. But as I said, it does have that interior thread that you can utilize if you just wanna have a direct connection like that. That could be another question. Here, let's take a look. Often people have questions about, you know, you're trying to replace your existing pump um, and back up a bit. You're replacing your existing pump, but you don't really want to have to do a lot of surgery to the plumbing installation. Uh, you know, if you have a hard plumb system, then you might, you know, that might be a big challenge to you. To a pool plumber, that's no problem. You just can get in there, hack up the old stuff, glue in the new stuff. Bob's your uncle. But for a lot of pool owners, they don't want to get into that. So something that you need to know is, for example, how high is this? Is this similar to what your existing pump is? Because sometimes they can be quite different. So let's take a look at that number right now. First, we'll look at what would be the interior fit if you use the male adapter like I've got here. Yeah, you're looking at about right around seven inches, just a shade under perhaps six and seven eighths. Uh, and that's the height of the inlet there. If you utilize the, uh, the Pentair Union that it comes with, that's right around six and a half inches. So that's the suction side height. Let's look at the discharge side height. So let's read around 13 and 12 and three quarters. Okay, so if your pump wasn't there, this pipe would be 12 and three quarter inches off the ground. That's exactly how high it would need to be for this to fit in there. Now, the other thing that you need to know is the distance between the inlet and the discharge port. Again, perhaps you've got a Jandy or a Hayward or something else and you're wondering, is this thing gonna fit in here? This is kind of the important question because if all of your plumbing is right here, but it needs to be six inches over, that's gonna be a problem. In this case, the discharge union is exactly eight inches behind the front threads. Which puts your pipe about eight and one quarter inches out of the front face of the, uh, the pump. So that's the power that it uses, 240 volts or 120, vo uh, 120 volts the inlet sizes that you can use, the unions that it comes with, the height and distance of the discharge and suction ports. And I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, if there's any other uh, questions that are not answered in this video, but you're wondering about this pump, please feel free to leave that in the comments section. And I would be happy to address that for you.
If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.